What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Also with Jesse W and today today we nailed Tesla. Check it out. Alright guys, so let's jump into this video here. Today the day opened up and I really didn't like anything. Like I didn't like anything at all, almost. Small caps. I didn't like anything there in small cap land. There are my scanners there, uh, trade idea scanner. Uh, link in the description section below with a coupon code for 15% off those. Didn't like anything there, so I'm not even going to bother clicking through any of that noise because honestly, there was just nothing there for me. Um, I was also watching, uh, let's see here, Boeing, which uh, had a real nice little move here, but then gave it back. Uh, so keeping an eye on that, honestly, I don't you know Boeing's still a bearish looking daily chart as you see giant looking bear flag let's make that a little bit smaller look at that giant looking bear flag but it refuses to break underneath 120 it really does it refuses to break underneath 120 and uh gonna keep watching that just gonna keep watching that see what happens uh, i haven't traded Boeing i don't think i traded Boeing all week i'm not sure I have to go look through my recaps uh i was looking at shop as well but you know i didn't trade it i i saw what was it that i saw i saw this red to green move right here uh and then it was trading right here between 714 and 710 just really choppy action there but the gap fill was kind of small you know so i was like yeah not gonna focus on that so ignored shop uh shop then roku yesterday you know i had a massive gap down uh, yesterday and it had a really bad earnings report in the uh in the after hours session uh apparently they lost a lot of their so um advertisers so nothing here and uh i was watching i thought maybe for the downside but no it had a nice little red to green move as well um but i didn't trade this you know there's not a whole lot here i mean it's a, it's a nice move don't get me wrong but there's nothing for me here uh on roku uh i did not look at bynd let's take a quick look well, that's a nice, you know, 10 point move, 12 point move, really, from 120 to 132. Did not see that. I actually, you know, yesterday I was focused up looking at, at BYND, and uh, today I've ignored it. And up here, this 134, 135 area, you know, still could be a potential, a potential short uh, decreasing volume on these pushes on the daily. So, gonna keep eyes on that. Uh, and see if it creeps up there so then you know i fell right back to what i was eyeing at the open which is tesla now tesla my plan on tesla was very simple i was either looking to short this 800 or if we broke over 800 um i knew we had the opportunity to see a little short squeeze so long there uh and that's what i did you know that's exactly what i traded and it was a real real nice trade uh on that on that one today and i do have it captured live real nice day uh, on it that was a that was a home run trade actually and i i traded it exactly how i would have wanted to uh yesterday when i told you guys about you know having the two contracts and explaining to you my process uh on how i trade those now before we move any further here on this trade do me a quick favor smash the like button for me subscribe to the channel and a comment in the comment section below let me know how your week went remember guys when you do all three things uh it helps the channel it really helps the channel a lot because youtube has an algorithm and the more uh, views and interaction we get from subscribers and non-subscribers as well the more chances of YouTube pushing videos out suggesting it to other people and the channel growing because the more people get eyes on it the more people subscribe the faster we get to 10,000 subscribers the faster we go and do that giveaway where I'm gonna give away one lucky subscriber a fully funded trading account so that they can start their day trading journey uh, so that's what we're gonna do there once we reach 10,000 subs but I can't get there without you guys. So do me a quick favor, like the video, comment in the comment section below, even if it's just to say hi. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell. I have a new video that's probably gonna come out this weekend, uh, either probably Sunday uh, on, on Street Smart's Edge, okay, which is the platform I'm using to trade. So make sure you hit the notification bell for that so that you're alerted when that video drops. Also remember, link in the description section below to Weeble. Uh, I believe on the 12th of on the 12th of this month, 
or on the 8th, Webull is going to stop doing two free stocks when you fund your account with 100 bucks. They're only going to be doing one free stock from there on. So if you want to take advantage of that and get those two free stocks, now is the time to download the app, fund the account with 100 bucks so you can get your two free stocks, okay? Uh, one of them could be valued up to 1400 bucks. Uh, the best stock I've received from Webull was about, I want to say 30 to 40 bucks. And from Free Trade, which the link is there as well, that one you just open up the account and you get one free stock, no need to fund the account. Uh, the best one I've gotten from them was uh, BYND, which I sold for a little bit over 100 bucks. So that was a real good one. Uh, so you wanna make sure you take advantage of that. It's three free stocks, it's no brainer, that's free money. Now on Tesla, we had this real nice red to green move right here, guys. You see this? This was so clean, so clean right in front of this $800 area. Now remember this $800 area has been holding up as resistance. Look at this little line right here, seven ninety eight hundred dollars zone. You know, resistance here, resistance here, resistance here. Pierced through it here, took it right back, okay? And that's just on this three minute chart, okay? So it just goes back uh, to May 5th. If you look at the daily here, you can see 800 resistance here throughout all of this in February, okay? March. And then now in May and April, okay, right there. So I figured if we broke that, we'd have a good shot at an upside move. Uh, and that's, you know, what I was eyeing right in here. Right, whoops, right in here on this move. We broke over VWAP. Volume was increasing. You see this break over VWAP right here? Look at this candle right here. Nice volume. Then we hold VWAP and we push on huge volume. Now, I should have been a little bit more patient on my last day profit. I traded my plan. I got in one contract at 648 and I added a second contract at seven bucks and I sold my first one for a hundred dollar win right there. Bang. And then I sold my second one for well over $300 win on that one, making today over $400 on this trade. So that was great. And that was a ton of fun. And, uh, I really should have been more patient here because, uh, on this candle right here, I thought, I think it was this candle, we pushed and then we started to take it back. It was either that one or this one, I can't remember. We pushed and we started to take it back. Pretty sure it was this one. And I haven't, I've recorded, we'll go over it. We started to take it back, take it back, it was huge wick. And I was like, oh, I don't like this. And I exited at nine, uh, 998, almost 10 bucks. Uh, and that was over 300 bucks right there on that win. But if I would have held on just a little bit longer, I would have been able to have taken that one off at 12, 13 bucks, making it a monster, monster win. So kind of sad about that, but it's okay. Real nice day, way to end the week, super strong. And uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. So let's grab this live trade right here. I believe it's this one right here. Yeah, here we go, so boom. Okay, so I'm in just one contract, seven bucks. Okay, we broke VWAP, we held it. Uh, I add my second one here when we get another little dip here. And I had that one at 648, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. You see this volume increase on the VWAP break is what I liked. It's not huge, but it's a little volume break. See, the thought process is very simple. This is $800 zone right here, okay? We broke VWAP on a little increase in volume. It's Friday. Shorts, we're already facing a gap up. Shorts are like, might be a little bit uncomfortable. They don't wanna hold this. They know $800 is the line. The closer we get to that and the more volume increases and, the, and, 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 and it's Friday, I'm thinking they're going to cover. They're going to cover, we're going to pop over at 800 and we're going to go. So, right, two minute trade. Right there, I add that second contract. Right there, I add that second contract. It's me a beautiful 674 cost basis, okay? Uh, oh, let me lower this a little bit so you can... See a little bit better, there you go. Should be able to see now. Yeah, there you go. See Tesla and everything right here says it. So now I'm like, okay, this has got to work. This has to work. The volume is strong. This has to break, you know, this zone right here. So I'm actually not even uncomfortable in this position. I'm, I was actually very comfortable. I, I was sitting back. I was not, uh, you know, kind of like hunched over, like on the edge of my seat. Uh, I was very comfortable in this position. I was just looking for that red to green move. Right there, we pop right in front of high day, right in front of high day. And normally, I'd just be taking some off right there because we're right in front of high day. We could easily double top. But 
I go into that psychological aspect of the trade where we're right in front of $800. I know shorts have to be uncomfortable, right? They have to be uncomfortable. Look at this volume continuously starting to increase. It's Friday. We're in front of this resistance zone and we're not shying away from it again. We, we shied away from it here. We came back down and look, look on this same candle right here, how bullish that dip was bought up. On this next one, bought right back up, broke over a VWAP, volume increasing, not shying away from 800 bucks. It's Friday. I feel like shorts need to cover this. So I'm not selling. Right there, as we break, there I sell. I sell one contract right there, and I booked 100 bucks. That's all I booked there because that's my entry from seven bucks. Boom, $100 in my pocket right there. If this position starts to go against me, I already have a $100 cushion. And that's the whole point of that first sell. Now I'm looking for the squeeze. Now I'm looking for the squeeze. Volume, huge volume on that push right there. I'm comfortable. I really should have thought of just holding this, you know, with that $800 market support. Look at that move. Look at that move to 806. I'm up already 400 bucks on that one contract. Now here, emotions get a little, you know, more heightened. And I'm like, ah, I think I'm gonna just take this off. You know, maybe I traded my PL a little bit there. Uh, generally speaking, guys, I don't I ignore this. This unrealized PL that you see here, I ignore it. I leave it here. I could easily erase this, take it right off, but I leave it here just for you guys, for entertainment purposes, really. Um, I, I, I generally ignore this. I, I don't look at that. Uh, a lot of times you'll see we're watching the video going over the recap and I'm like, oh, look how much I was up. I don't even, because I don't look at it. I generally don't look at it. But this time I did glance at it. Uh, and that's probably what hurt me here. I wanted to try to take this off like at 12 bucks, okay? From 648, that's that's a monster gain. But the, the wick, you know, this wick, we it made me a little uncomfortable. It may be a little uncomfortable. Not that one. You'll see it. It's coming. That. When it starts to come back down a lot. See, we pop. We pop back up there and I'm like, okay. Okay. This is good. Look at that. We're up almost 500 bucks on that. But then watch. Watch what happens here. That. That right there. That right there always shakes me. Always shakes me. And uh, I cut it loose there. I, <laughs> I cut it loose there and it sucks because, uh, you know, I, I still book, what was it, like 330 something dollars, I think, there. So it makes the day $430 trade, give or take. So I still book that real nice profit, but come on. See, I book it right there. And right after that, look, boom. I mean, those are going off at 20 bucks. 20, 15 bucks, something like that. Regardless, it doesn't matter. I would have been able to have gotten my target, which was $12 on those, and it would have been great. But hey, look, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, I'm gonna keep my eyes on Tesla here. Maybe I'll get a shot at, uh, at another small trade. This time it'll just be one contract, looking for a simple trade, you know, conserving profits on the day. It's been a real nice week. Consistency has been king this week. I've been green every day this week, except for that one day where I had the user error. If you remember that video, it's my most watched video this week because it was a day trading fail. Uh, if it wouldn't have been for that day, I would have been green every single day this week and I'd be on a nice little five, five day win streak. Uh, however, I was red that day, uh, but I knocked it down by, by, by 50%, a little bit more I think than 50%. Uh, on my follow-up trades that were not user error. Uh, if you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. In fact, the video that's coming out on Sunday is me fixing that so I don't have that user error again. I figured out how to customize the software so that won't happen again. So if you're curious, make sure you check that out. I hope you're having a great day. Enjoyed the video, learned something. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Have yourself a great weekend. Smash that like button for me. That's all I ask and I'll catch you on the next one.